yeah so in this question we have to find that number with which when we multiply negative 1 we get negative 47 in the first case so i want to find such a number let's let's uh, write a dash over here to represent that number that i need to find that number with when i multiply with negative 1 i should get the answer as negative 47 i need to find up that number now very easy method what is it over here we have a number as 1 over here we have a number as 1 now you should know this thing before that no matter what number you multiply with 1 for example you multiply 23 with 1 you are going to get back again 23 only if you multiply 57 with 1 you are going to get 57 only no matter what number you multiply with 1 you will get that number again back okay so this should be the simple rule which should be known first that no matter what number you multiply with x you will always get that number only okay now in this scenario first of all you are going to multiply any number with 1 and then you are getting 47 so that number should be 47 like 47 multiply by 1 will give you 47 but as i said that any number multiply by 1 is equals to that number only so in this case answer was 47 over here we had 1 and we need to find that number so that number should be 47 only because any number multiplied by 1 gives that number itself so over here also at the place of question mark we can write 47 but now the question is that shall we use the negative 47 or shall we use the positive 47 so in this question we have to use positive 47 why positive because when you will multiply positive with negative then only you will get negative 47 instead if you will use negative 47 multiply by negative 1 in that case you will get positive 47 which is not required to us right now we are required for positive oh sorry negative 47 so this should uh, how do we say this okay let me write this thing that is negative sign multiplied by negative sign gives us positive then negative sign or we can say positive sign multiplied by positive sign gives us again the positive then negative sign multiplied by positive sign gives us negative as well as the positive sign multiplied by the negative signs give us negative so we see wherever we have the same signs wherever we have the same signs the answer will be positive and wherever we have the different sign that is negative and positive or positive and negative we will get negative and negative so over here also what is happening we were having negative 47 as the answer and we have negative 1 so what we have to do we have to choose a positive number and we multiply the positive number with a negative number such that we get a negative answer now let me repeat whatever i said again that is we need to find such a number we need to find such a number that when we multiply it with negative 1 we get negative 47 we need to find that number so first of all we know this thing that no matter what you multiply with 1 you will get that number only again back again so in this case we will use a number over here that will be 47 such that 47 multiplied by 1 is 47 but negative or positive positive why positive because positive multiply by negative 1 will give us negative again now let's do the second question so in the second one again we have to find such a number when we multiply it with minus 1 instead of getting negative 47 this time we get positive 63 so first of all if i'm getting positive 63 this thing is clear to me that i have to multiply with a negative number why negative number then only negative negative will become positive right one negative uh, one is there and we need to choose another negative number such that our answer comes out to be positive because negative multiplied by negative is positive all right then what should be that number the second thing which you have to keep in our mind is that you multiply any number with one you will get that number again but in this case you are getting 63 so you just have to multiply it with 63 but positive or negative 63 it should be negative 63 such that negative negative will give you a positive answer then let's move to the third one in the third one you have to multiply this negative one with such a number that the answer you get is negative one now if the answer is negative one it means my number is positive then only positive multiply by negative will give us negative now now what should be that number that should be one only and that will be positive one so that positive one multiply by one will give you negative one last is zero in the case of zero 
you will just multiply it with the zero only and hence you will get zero that's how you do this question is it clear